hello and welcome to Big Boar Knife and Gear. Well, tonight we're going to talk about a Homer Zoo custom pelican. This one is a beautiful piece. This one is also a loan for my buddy, Mr. Kyle J. Lamfer. Uh, I'll leave his links below in the description for both his YouTube and his Instagram. Solid member of this community. So let's pop this sucker open and go over some specs and then we'll get into this beautiful, beautiful knife. Overall length on this guy is eight and three quarter inches. Uh, it's got an overall blade length of three and three quarter inches. It's got a cutting edge of three and five eighths inches. It's got a closed length of five inches. The steel on this is VG10. Blade thickness is 0 0.130 inches. Handle thickness on this is just shy of a half an inch at 0 0.48 inches. And this guy's coming in at a whopping <laughs> 6.18 ounces. Uh, full titanium frame, titanium pocket clip, frame lock design, titanium backspacer. And let's get into this beauty. First off, this thing is amazingly beautiful. Uh, Sorry about the glare from the light, folks, but this thing is a completely, fully polished, beautifully flame anodized scale, beautifully polished blade, polished pocket clip, hardware. Look at that. Look at the gleaming little glimmers of light there. <laughs> Everything on this is polished. This thing is an absolutely gorgeous work of art. Not only is it a work of art, it's a completely functional tool. Centering on this bad boy is spot on, straight down the middle. Look at that rocked, geared, titanium Backspacer, beautifully flame anodized to match the scales. Action on this is incredible. Oh, sorry about that. That was my fault. Super smooth. Just an absolute joy in hand. Let's get into some ergos. Uh, and please forgive me, folks. It is fully polished, so it is a fingerprint magnet. So what we're going to do here is uh, every now and then just wipe her down. Uh, ergonomics wise, in my hand, so you can see I can get a full grip and then some. Feels absolutely fantastic in hand. The uh, jimping on the spine of this blade is large and in charge. Grips your thumb fantastically. It is a bit bitey. Um, especially if you're bearing down on it. That's one of maybe three negatives that I'm going to talk about on this knife here in a few. Look at the work on that blade. It is absolutely gorgeous. The grinds, the bevels, everything is just spot on on this. Oh, and if I hadn't uh, said this, let's see if we can get the camera to focus with some light. So this one is number 13. As you can see, he's got it numbered here as Lucky 13. I just can't say enough good things about this knife. Super comfortable in hand. You can actually, no finger choil, but there's enough room here. You can actually choke up very comfortably. Your thumb fits right into this little cutout. Fantastic slicer for doing fine work, draw cuts. It was, it was an absolute joy to use this knife. I did not uh, abuse this in any way. Very light work, some paper, a couple pieces of cardboard. That was it. In fact, just for S and G, look, <laughs> this thing is a razor blade, razor blade sharp. absolute gorgeous knife. Now, let's get into just a couple of negatives. The first one for me, 
the jimping. Uh, while fully functional and fantastic for light work, if you actually press down on it, it is pretty aggressive. Uh, and I think it's just due to the size of the jimping. Even though it's pretty chamfered and rounded, just the overall size when you plant your thumb down, it's, it's, it's pretty grabby. The only other drawback to this knife, other than being fully polished in a fingerprint magnet, that's just a nitpick, is lock bar access. As you can see, there is a nice cutout here, very well chamfered. However, it's barely lower than the lock bar, and it does take a little bit of effort to get your finger in there to disengage that. And the only reason why I call it a negative is because the edge of the lock bar, even though this is beautifully done in chamfered, the very bottom edge is pretty sharp and it does dig into your finger. Other than that, no other complaints. Fantastic knife, fabulous design. Uh, this knife, I don't know how many he actually did, I did reach out to Mr. Homer Zhu on uh, direct message on Instagram. Uh, he is overseas in China. Uh, has not gotten back to me because I think it's, you know, uh, what's today? Friday, 7-ish p.m. I think it's like 2 in the morning Sunday there. You know, there's a big time difference. But I will tell you this. I like this knife so much that I put some feelers out there. And today, I was lucky enough <laughs> to pick up the Pelican Custom. Come on, baby, focus. Number one. Exactly the same knife, just totally different in looks. This one's got a uh, acid-washed, tumbled blade. Still flamed handles, uh, just in a different pattern. This one is somewhat polished, but not nearly as, as much of a fingerprint magnet as that one is. This beautifully subdued pocket clip. Geared backspacer without the rock pattern on it. And uh, same issue. Obviously, same knife. Jimping. Still pretty uh, pretty large, and it does dig in. Lock bar, obviously exactly the same. But the action on both of these knives and the looks and aesthetics are just fantastic. Completely functional works of art. Anyhow, that's all I have for today, folks. Uh, once again, thank you so much, Kyle, for loaning me this beautiful knife. And... Uh, for contributing to my uh, obsessive <laughs> addictions, getting this beauty into my hand. If you guys have seen or handled or know of Homer Zoo uh, and his customs, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you haven't, let me know what you think about what you've seen. Uh, I love the feedback. Uh, I love everybody's uh, comments. I love responding to them. So please continue to do that. Anyhow, that's all I got for tonight, folks. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment because I love the feedback. And until next time, take care.